Hi, in this lesson we're going to be talking about the Copilot Notebook feature. So think of Notebook as a way to make uh, even larger prompts than what the regular chat box will support. And then when we scroll down here, we have GPT-4, Creative, Balanced, Precise, and you could also switch back and forth between GPT-4 and GP4 Turbo when you're using the Professional Edition. Okay, so when it comes to character limits, Creative and Precise will let you do 8,000, while Balanced will let you do 4,000. And then the Notebook feature will let you do up to 18,000 characters. All right, so I have this text here about Windows, uh, 17,924 characters. So if I copy this here, paste it in, you can see maximum character limit reached. And if I clear it on the balanced, same thing. Precise, same thing, but you can see it ends in a different spot here because there's more characters allowed on the creative and precise than on the balanced. All right, so to get to the notebook section, you could go to the three dots up here. Depending on how your co-pilot looks, you might have it on the left, and otherwise you'll have it up here, and you can go to notebook. So once again, inconsistencies from Microsoft. Okay, so if I paste this in here, and now I could add my prompt to it. All right, summarize this text into three paragraphs. Okay, if we want to ask something else, when did Windows 3.1 come out? So what you notice, I didn't say to take it from the text. So let's try this again. And we'll say, when did Windows 3.1 come out according to this text? So this says April 6, 1992, and got it from Wikipedia. So this just says April 1992. And if we go back to the text here, if we find it, April 1992. And then of course you could do the same things with uh, image analysis. Okay, so it found out what kind of dog it was based from the image. And you could also clear the text by starting a new topic here as well. So you would think the refresh option would just refresh your current window here or your current prompt, but it actually clears the screen kind of like the new topic option does. All right, so there's your quick overview of Notebook, so available in professional and in the free version as well, in case you were wondering. So just think of it as a way to put in more text for larger prompts or to have it analyze larger documents for you. And once again, it has that 18,000 character limit, so keep that in mind. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.